Sartaj says, we have morning and evening adhkar for protection from external forces and all bad things. My question is, can we read the adhkar and blow on small children and infants for protection? And can we blow adhkar duas in water and give them? By doing this, will the child be protected from evil things? Well, first of all, let me get my chai first. Okay, first of all, the issue of blowing. We do not usually blow except in ruqya. What is the difference, Sheikh? Ruqya is made as a form of treatment and healing. I have someone who's sick. I have someone to um, seek Allah's healing and cure for him. I may blow on him. But for protection, we do not use blowing. The Prophet ﷺ used to get hold of Al-Hasan and al Hussein. May Allah be pleased with them, his grandchildren. And he used to read the dua of protection, which Ibrahim, peace be upon him, used to recite for uh, Ishaq and Ismail. أُعِيذُكُمَا بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ وَهَامَّ وَمِنْ كُلِّ عَيْنٍ لَامَّ That's it. No blowing. And even no need to put your hand over the heads. So this kind of protection, it can be done if the person is in front of you or if the person is in another room or even in another country. Why? Because this is part of dua. It's protection. But ruqya is to be done only when the patient is in front of you. And this is why we recite, as azim Rabbil Arsh Azim, an yashfiyak, and in front of you. Or I say, Allahumma Rabbil Nas, adhibil bas, and I go, no problem. Or qul huwa Allah ahad, or fatiha, as in the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him. All of this is permissible as ruqya. Only before going to bed, we cup our hands, we blow, and we recite the last three chapters and wipe ourselves at part of the sunnah. So your children, you don't need to blow over water. You don't need to blow over them. And there is a great dua that the Prophet ﷺ used to always recite in the morning and in the evening. And if you recite this dua, your children are protected with the grace of Allah Azza wa because they're embedded in it. Allahumma nasalaka al-afiyata fi dunya wal akhirah. Allahumma inni yasaluka al-afwa wa al-afiyah. Fi deeni wa dunyai wa mali wa ahli. Or wa ahli wa mali. So ahli is my family. So this makes all of your children fall underneath. You say this in the morning. You say this in the evening. Every single day. day and inshallah, you are protected.